Hello everyone, today we are going over how to fix the multiplayer is disabled error. Playing Minecraft online is just as fun as playing it by yourself. There's so many mini games out there that you can set up with our servers that seeing an error like this is nothing but dread. That's right, multiplayer is disabled. Today, we're going to go over how to fix this error in the multiple ways that there are available. Verifying your Microsoft account. First things first, gamers. You gotta try to turn it off and turn it back on again. That's right, in your Minecraft launcher, go to the top left and log out of your Minecraft account. Then, log back in with your Microsoft login. There could be some sort of mix-up just with the servers online for some reason, so sometimes this genuinely will fix the problem. Xbox Account Settings Even if you're not playing on Xbox, this may be something that matters because you're playing on Microsoft. So head to account.xbox.com and sign in. Once you're signed in, then you're going to want to head to the Privacy and Online Safety page, which is linked in the description to make it easier for you, but make sure that you are signed in first. Once you're on this page, you're going to notice that there are actually a lot of different settings that you can adjust. But the one that we want to focus on is the one that also mentions Windows 10 right next to Privacy. From here, you're going to click that one, and down below, just not too far down, is You Can Join Multiplayer Games. This needs to be marked as Allow in order for you to join the Minecraft games online. Microsoft Account Family Settings Chances are, you won't even need to check this one, but it is linked in the description just in case. If you haven't even heard of the family account settings, then this probably doesn't apply to you, but this is where you can check screen time and content filters that a parent might have put on to your account. If you are a part of a family account and you are underage, I do recommend talking with your parent to make sure that you're okay to go online. How to join a Minecraft server this may also seem basic, but sometimes it's worth revisiting the basics in order to make sure that everything is going right. In the Java edition, to join the server, you want to head to the multiplayer tab and make sure that you have your server IP and port for the server address. You can always do the direct connection for whichever server you're trying to connect to and hit join server. You can also take the IP address with the port and add the server to permanently have. So adding a new server name for it, and then typing in the IP and the port, then hitting done, will add the server to the list. Then you can play it no problems. For the Bedrock version of the game, it's very similar. You hit play and go to the servers tab on the top right. Then you want to hit add server under the additional servers tab. This time, when you add the server address, you actually want to add the port separately in the bottom section. So. What I like to do is copy the whole address and then copy the port afterwards. Then name it brand new server again in this case, and then make sure you delete the port off of the original server IP. Then you hit save or play depending on what you want to do, and then you have the server to save. Conclusion. Coming across these errors are never fun, and they feel like they ruin the gameplay that you're trying to have with your friends. But that's why going back to the basics and understanding some of the simple things is what's important, and that will keep you wanting to play more. This error is no different. It can be a hassle, but if you know what you're looking for, it can be an easy fix as well. If you like this tutorial, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content you like to see. Until next time. Huh. Huh.